What we're going to be going over here is a deferred tax liability with a beginning balance versus without a beginning balance. And it's going to be based on some changing tax rates here. And we're going to be looking at its effect here on tax expense. So this is our example that we're going to be looking at here. And we're going to look at it from the tax accounting perspective here, where we're going to have this temporary difference here of 180000 in year X1. Let's just say it's uh, an expense item that we can deduct here in year X1, but when we project it out into the next four years here, year X2 through year X5, we're not going to be able to deduct any of that expense since we take in a total amount here in year X1. And uh, that's going to, what it sets up here is a future taxable amount here of $180,000. So, and it's broken down here in this uh, example, in this case here, where we're going to have year X2 through year X5. This temporary difference is going to reverse itself here at, for year X2, it's going to be $70,000 and year X3, $50,000 year X4, 40,000, and year X5, 20,000 here. So that's going to increase our income by, the, by, the, by reversing this temporary difference here. So our total amount that we're going to be reversing over these next four years here is 180,000. But this is where we have to come in and we have to determine our deferred tax liability here at uh, for this temporary difference. And that's going to be based on a changing tax rate that we project out here in the future. So for our year X2, we're going to have a 30% tax rate. Same here for year X3 at a 30%. And then year X4, 25 and 25 years X4 through X5. And we started out with a 40% tax rate here in year X1. So what we have to do here for this, it's going to be a deferred tax liability here since these amounts here are future taxable amounts. So our deferred tax liability is really here future taxable amounts. Those are the amounts that we have up here, 70,000 up through here, 20,000 times the future tax rate. So these are the future tax rates here for year X2 through year X5 that we just went through here. So what we would have to do to determine our deferred tax liability is simply take the uh, reversing amount here. Let's look at year X1 here where we've got 70, or year X2, excuse me, where we've got 70,000 here uh, where the re uh, temporary difference reverses itself tax rate is 30 percent so 30 uh, percent uh, times our 70,000 gives us a deferred tax liability of 21,000 here for year X2 and it just proceed on here for each of those years year year X3 through year X4 simply the reversing amount here of the temporary difference times the tax rate here that varying tax rate that gives you your deferred tax liability so let's just look here at our next year here 20 uh, year X3 here so we got a temporary difference reverses here at 50,000 tax rate 30 percent that gives us a deferred tax liability of 15,000 next year here at year X4 40,000 here reversing amount times the 25 percent tax rate it changes here from 30 to 25 percent that's going to give us 10,000 in deferred tax liability and then finally fifth year here 20,000 times 25% tax rate is going to give us a deferred tax liability of 5,000. So our total deferred tax liability, what you want to do is just sum that across those amounts across here, year X2 through year X5 for $51,000. So that's what we have to determine here. And that's all based here on the future taxable amounts. Those are the reversing amounts based on our beginning temporary difference here times the future tax rates. That gives us a deferred tax liability. Okay, so we uh, figured out what our deferred tax liability is here. So now let's just go and let's figure out what our current tax payable for the year here would be. So just looking at our example, say our income, our pre-tax income, our income before tax is 520000 and then we would subtract out that temporary difference, 180000 That gives us taxable income here of 340000 and then our uh, tax rate of 40% times the 340000 thousand gives us a tax payable of a hundred and thirty six thousand dollars so now let's go down and let's record this here so what we have to do is we have to set up this tax payable that's the current tax amount here that's payable here on the for our, our year here year x1 that we're going to be looking at and then we also have that deferred tax liability here and based on taxes payable current amount and deferred tax liability we're going to be able to determine our tax expense and we're looking at the first case here where uh, for our deferred tax liability our beginning balance is zero so that's case one here we're going to look at the case two where we're going to have a beginning balance 
actually a, a beginning balance of some amount here, and then we have to determine the incremental amount that we have to uh, record here for a deferred tax liability. But in this case here, we have a zero beginning balance. So looking at our deferred tax liability here, how you would uh, figure that amount out here. So deferred tax liability, that is at the end of the year, year X1 here. Remember, we figured that here at $51,000 showing up here. Now, our deferred tax liability in the beginning of the year here, year X1, we had had, let's say zero. We had a zero amount in this for case one here. So our net increase uh, required here for the year is simply the difference here. 51000 start out with zero, so we need $51,000 worth of increase here, or record it for our deferred tax liability here in year X1. So we would credit deferred tax liability here for $51,000. Now moving up to our tax payable here. So that's the current amount that's uh, payable here for our taxes. So we would credit that for $136,000. And that we simply calculate, that comes off our calculation up here that we calculated the 40% times the 40% uh, tax rate times our taxable income of $340,000. Okay, so we've got those two amounts calculated. Deferred tax liability, what we require here for the year here, plus our tax payable amount the current amount. So now all we have to do is determine our tax expense and that's really basic here. It really becomes a plug or a balancing amount. So we take our tax payable 136000 here, that credit amount, plus our deferred tax liability that we have for the year here, 51000 that credit amount, that's going to have to equal our tax expense here uh, debit. It's going to uh, add up to the debit amount here, the increase that we have in our tax expense here on our income statement. And you can look at it from this perspective here. You just take your tax payable, 136000 plus the deferred tax liability of 51000 Those two credit amounts, add them up, and we get our tax expense here of $187,000. So tax expense, that's on our income statement here. Debit it or increase it for a year at X1 here at 187000 And then that balances, that was a plug here, that balances with our tax payable. Credit that here, a liability on our balance sheet for 136000 And then the deferred tax liability, that's what we required here for the year. We That total deferred tax liability that we uh, calculated based on the projected uh, reversal of the projected temporary differences plus the changing tax rate, that total amount here, uh, since we had no zero uh, beginning balance, that total amount would be re reported here as your deferred tax liability. And then if we went down here, let's just go down to our income tax expense section on our income statement, just for 20X1, just so you can see how that would be laid out here. Our income before taxes is 520000 and then we would uh, have to subtract out our income tax expense. Now that's broken down between the current portion here, that's that 136000 that we have up here as our tax payable, and then the deferred portion, that's that uh, total $51,000 in deferred uh, tax liability here. So uh, we're getting that off our, since we didn't have any beginning balance, the total amount of the deferred tax liability here has to be included here for year X1. So that would be the 51000 total year uh, current and your deferred portion here of your tax expense, you're going to come up with $187,000 here in your total tax expense. Subtract that from your income before taxes and you're going to get up net income for the year here after taxes of 333000 So the key point is here, just remember the current portion of your income tax expense is the tax payable and then the deferred portion, that was what we calculated here. That was that 51000 Okay, so we've taken care of our first case one here for where our deferred tax liability had a zero balance and then we had to calculate the uh, deferred tax liability based on our uh, temporary difference that is reversing here with the uh, uh, also the changing tax rate. Now let's go and let's look at the case here where we're going to be looking at where we have a beginning balance in our deferred tax liability. So going back to our numbers here, we're going to have the same number laid out here, same numbers. We come up with a deferred tax liability here of $51,000 here. After the based on these reversal here and our uh, varying tax rate. So let's go down and let's look at how we'd handle that here. So uh, again, we're going to have our tax payable here and our deferred tax liability. So the key here is what would we enter in our deferred as our deferred tax liability for the uh, year here. So we in this case we're going to have a beginning balance of $22,000. So 
that I'm going to be showing up here in our T account here. We had a credit to deferred tax liability beginning balance of $22,000. And now remember, we have a total deferred tax liability here of $51,000 based on our projections here. Okay, so all you'd have to do is we have to determine what the net increase required is. So let's just look at our example here. We deferred tax liability at the end of X1 here would have been 51,000. We have our beginning uh, deferred tax liability that we're given here of 22,000. So the net increase here required just simply the difference between those two net increases 29,000 since we ended up with a greater amount here in deferred tax liability than we started with here in the beginning of the year. So net increase is 29,000. So that's what we have to record here in our deferred tax liability. Beginning balance, we had 22,000 uh, credit amount here. A net increase for the year, 29,000 credit that here. And then our total, I'm just showing it here, you would, would have show here for a total for X1 here is 51,000. So simply just remember your deferred tax liability when you have a beginning balance you have to look at your end deferred tax liability at the end of the year here compare it to the beginning of the year here and if you have any increase or decrease then you have to record it appropriately in this case we had an increase here so we would have credited our deferred tax liability and then moving over to our taxes payable here that's simply or again, the same amount here. That tax payable, that was at $136,000. Credit that here for $136,000. Now, moving over to our tax expense. Remember, tax payable is a liability here in a balance sheet. Same with our deferred tax, liabil uh, deferred tax liability account here. That would have been also a liability on our balance sheet. But moving over to our tax expense on our income statement. So how do we calculate that? That simply becomes a plug here, or a plug between our taxes payable and our deferred tax liability. So looking at our tax payable, that is $136,000. Uh, that we had here. But our deferred tax liability, that was that increase here for the year here at 29000 based on the beginning balance and what we required here at the end of the year here of 51000 So just taking our tax payable, 136000 here, that was that credit amount here. Deferred tax liability, the increase required for the year here, $29,000 credit. Some of those, our tax expense here is 165000 That's simply again a plug here between our tax payable and our deferred tax liability here. Debit that here for 165000 as a tax expense here on our income statement. And then if we go down here and look here for our how we would record our income tax expense section here on our income statement here for 20x1. So we start out with our income before taxes here of uh, 520000 then our income tax expense current portion here 136,000 and then the deferred deferred tax liability that was that increase we had for the year here at 29,000 total those amounts you're going to come up with your income tax expense 165,000 uh, subtract that from your income before taxes of 525,000 so your net income here uh, is now $355,000. So going back to our comparison here, remember when we started out with no deferred tax liability here in our account, we had to take the total, we had a zero balance here at the beginning of the year, we had to take the total amount for the year here that we calculated based on our, on our temporary reversing of our temporary difference and those changing tax rate. We had to take the total amount here. And that actually increased our tax expense here because our tax payable was the same in both cases here but it depended on what's sitting on our deferred tax liability so that would have increased our tax expense uh, our tax expenses increased here uh, based on whatever we were recording here as a change in our deferred tax liability. So for the first year with a zero balance, we had to take the total 51000 here, and that would go against our tax expense, and that would have increased our tax expense versus the case here where our beginning balance, we had a $22,000 balance, so all we had to do is just take the increase between what would we had to figure for our total deferred tax liability here and then what we beginning balance difference gave us that net increase here of 29,000 which uh, adding that to the tax payable what was the same in, in both examples here case one and case two that uh, reduced our really our tax expense only by 
the so we only had to increase our tax expense by the net increase here that we had in our deferred tax liability when we had a beginning balance okay so that'll take care of our example here uh, where we have and let's move it back up here one more time this is the case here where we have a future taxable amount here based on our tax accounting so we had this temporary difference here and we were able to reduce the total amount here, say some expense item here uh, for year X1, we've taken the total amount of that expense item and reduced our income by that amount. But that in the future years here, year X2 through year X5, uh, that we wouldn't be able to take and deduct it, uh, that total 180000 and we have to reverse it out over those next years. Project what the temporary difference, how it would reverse out. So we ended up with a total uh, reversal here of 180,000 and then we had that varying tax rate here from year X2 through year X5 we had those varying amounts here and we had to based on that varying amounts we had to determine what the deferred tax liability was and that's simply the temporary difference for the year here uh, the reversal amount times the tax rate for the year that gives us a deferred tax liability and then we would figure that over the reversal period here, those four years, you sum up all your uh, deferred tax, uh, total amount for your total deferred tax liability for each year here, totaling those amounts, that gives you your total uh, deferred tax liability here based on the reversal of that temporary difference. So that's how we handle that. Just remember here, this deferred tax liability, it's the future taxable amounts times the future tax rate. Whatever the tax rate is here, uh, based on the future here, you have to use that to determine any uh, deferred tax liability for each of those years. Okay, so that'll take care and that'll summarize our basic example here that we had here to determine how our deferred tax liability affects our tax expense based on any beginning balances in our deferred tax liability. All right, so that'll summarize our topic.